Thursday, September 23rd, 2021. I'm still in this flag. Um, I have subsequent dual blocks of ammonia, um, which is a methane buildup of um, the weather and the weather machine, the weather pattern, the pressure is off, which is a war crime within itself. Easily provable. I just don't know who to submit whatever to. Um, I was just walk went out for my morning walk or my afternoon walk. I ran into Hector Barsali next door, uh, who was the neighbor uh, when my grandfather uh, was here. It was Aldo, and then it passed on to Hector. Hector's a little younger than my my. No, he's a little older than my father, believe it or not. Um, and then, uh, Enavon. He's in the U.S. Coast Guard. Uh, and then the uh, Miguel, who's upstairs, who was in the Navy. So they got to speaking, which was nice. Um, to hear them banter back and forth, I had let them know that this morning, um... I had made medical note of um, the varicose veins and the cyanotic and the necroses of the translucent skins, like myself, um, that you can see easily. Um, I was tying it into the weather problem and some stuff that I was having going on. Um, and so uh, when... Miguel went back upstairs. Apparently he's got, uh, Miguel has three accommodations. He said in a letter from Bill Clinton, which I said, could you just, you know, I didn't want to, I mean, again, I don't know how to be a receiver of this kind of information, but I am like, I know that sounds important and I know it is important, but what does it mean? Like, what is an, what does an accommodation mean? Like, I know that it's something like that it, is indicative, but how does one earn something called an accommodation? So he said, uh, so he explained it to me in his normal course of action. Um, and then Hector was mentioning, they were mentioning something about swimming. And I said, yeah, no, I had gone to the camps as a young kid. Linda sent me to Robin Hood and a couple of the others. And they would have, like, tests at the campsites for swimming and agility and all sorts of things. And so they would see how long we could tread water for and if we could dive and pick stuff up off the bottom of the pool. I mean, I always passed. Um, and they had the parents there um, to be witness, I suppose, um, that the testing was going on. Um, I just don't know why it never went anywhere after that, since I was put through all the rigmarole, but it never led anywhere. Um, Hector was saying that you had for Coast Guard, uh, and that you, Coast Guard, that he said that they made sure that you could swim. Navy, um, Miguel said that swimming was not a requirement, that one of the ships sank, uh, 50 men were on, I think seven died. Um, and then he also said something about that they sunk, he, he was on a ship called the Independence, and it sunk, which is interesting, considering my, I thought my, my Aunt Judy mentioned Bobby was, my Uncle Bobby, I don't know if Cliffy was on the Independence too, but Bobby was on the Independence at some point. Um, but I got confirmation from Miguel that they sunk it, and the, the reason he gave her, he said it was too old. I don't know what that means in, like, real-world terms, but that's what an accommodated and a, a presidential-lettered, um, gentleman of naval statues stating to a U.S. Coast Guard rep in my presence. Well, I'm stuck in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. Um, and I have to think about this. So, Hector was, um, oh, 
Miguel had mentioned Hector was something in Greek mythology, and I said, it also in British Imperial measurement is 2.47 acres, I'm just saying. <laughs> and so I took my umbrella and went for a walk. Uh, so that happened. And, oh, Hector was saying that when they had to get up on the 16-foot platform and walk out to the edge, and not only did you have the 16 feet above water and then stand there with your own height, but then you had looked through the clear water all the way to the bottom of the pool, and then whatever that depth was, um, he said, so you didn't realize it. He said, but it added to the fear being not just from the height of the diving board or the height of the, I guess, platform to the surface water, but then to be able to look all the way through, it added um, more, he really didn't have a word for it, and so he said, but it added to the fear is the word that he did use, um, which of course I could tie into an analogous of a whole lot of different things that I've been touching on uh, for points of contention uh, and whatnot. But as Miguel left, he said, um, Mr. Hector, and Hector's like, no, that's my first name. And he says, yes, no, I know. He says, but we drink from the same water and the, um, and eat the same fish. Whatever that means, I have no idea. In crude, raw, what sayings, I suppose. Um, but that's just what's going on. Oh, and uh, Miguel reminded me he's been here for like a month and a week. I thought it was only three weeks. He said it's a month and a week. I mean, I'm not really good with calendar schedules and things on that sense because the memory does not carry forward as well. And I don't have the depth of the memory that I used to. The short-term memory, it's... It's tricky. It looks like that foot that's that purpley necrotic, black and blue with like edging out into a cyanotic toe region. That's what I feel like the environment's my life support bubble of environment is is at at the moment. I feel like it is a really necrotizing, like for lack of a better word, fasciitis. Like it's that's my life support and that's what it feels and looks like in like why I can't catch my breath, and why my heart's not pumping properly, why my kidneys are not pumping properly, why I have shooting pains down through my legs, and my legs ha have, on the outside, like, I have no feeling, and then on the inside, sometimes there's feeling, but it's swollen, I get a whole bunch of different things, but again, it's all environmental pressure points, um, and whatever they're doing at the weather machine, and weather pattern, dangerously, in analytics and statistics and taking all the wrong things in all the wrong places and directions. Um, I was thinking of the independence. I mean, in real world, I don't know what it means. I know it was written um, that if that happens, now is that their health v vassal? Um, that is something that it would be important when they sunk the ship, did they think that that was their old health insurance and their old vassal in order to gain more momentum and pressure in some other fashion of strong arm and strongholds? I don't know. But I will tell you, I'm still in New York. I'm still in Bayside Station. And um, it's 11361. It's September 23rd, 2021. And I'm just holding my own at the, this point. Um, not even carrying, I don't know if I'm carrying my parents, I don't know how that would even look or work, but I'm just working for myself, by myself, since I came into this world alone, and I will leave with four and myself at this point. Star 1978, Story 378, Nicole Cateruza.